Three more teens are now charged in the death of Baltimore County Officer Amy Caprio. She was killed in the line of duty on Monday in Perry Hall. Prosecutors say a four suspect, 16 year old Dante Harris, ran down Officer Caprio while the three others burglarized a home. Tonight, WJC has obtained documents shedding light on the timeline of officers trying to track down Harris even minutes before Caprio was killed. WJC's Rick Ritter breaks it all down and has reaction from the city state's attorney who says the system is broken. Harris was arrested in December, January, February, and March and was essentially put on house arrest but then went missing. And officers were unable to find him before Caprio's murder. It's now reignited the debate over Baltimore's juvenile justice system. 16 year old Dante Harris is no stranger to the juvenile court system. Arrested four times in just six months and detained as recent as April 17th. But despite being taken into custody last month, Harris made his way back onto the streets yet again, only to be pinned with the murder of Officer Caprio. Did the system not work? Uh, it sounds like who, that uh, it could have worked better in this particular case. Sources handed over this paperwork to WJZ, showing Harris was put into the community detention program on May 10th. Harris violated that order on May 14th, and attempts to locate him were unsuccessful. On May 15th, a rapid response team tracked Harris down at his home, holding a violation conference. The very next day, attempts to locate Harris were unsuccessful. That's when juvenile services requested the court bring Harris in. Harris failed to show up for a May 18th hearing, but his mother did. And instead of possibly issuing a bench warrant, the court postponed the hearing to May 22nd which never came with Officer Caprio being murdered just one day before. While juvenile services said that fell on the courts and state's attorney, Marilyn Mosby says they imposed community detention over her office's objection. The knowledge, the issuance, the responsibility of monitoring home detention is then on the Department of Juvenile Services. Chilling documents detail the dialogue between community detention supervisors and Harris's mom, who tried contacting the 16 year old repeatedly on the morning of Caprio's murder. They placed multiple phone calls to the teen cell, with the final one coming at 12:36, one hour before Caprio was run over and killed. City officials now pointing the finger at one another. Again, a lot of concern tonight over how Harris could be arrested four times in just months and end up on the streets again. Back to you. The Department of Juvenile Services released a statement tonight saying they're surprised by the defensiveness in Mrs. Mosby's recent comments. The statement goes on to say, we have always maintained and continue to maintain that the state's attorney's office serves an important role in the juvenile justice system.